This is the second video of our video series, Configuration Manager Lab Setup. And in this video, we are going to look at Configuration Manager Lab Overview. Hello IT pros, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technic Solutions. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And all the links mentioned in this video are given in the description box below. And let's get started. So in this Configuration Manager Lab Overview, we are going to look at uh, our hypervisor, what type of hypervisor we are going to use. And then we will look at virtual networking because our guest virtual machines are going to uh, connect to each other and what type of networking, virtual networking we are going to use. And also we are going to look at our guest virtual machines and uh, we will see that what software and hardware resources these virtual machines they require. And at the end of this video, I will show you the host machine and uh, the hardware of this host machine that I'm going to use throughout this video series. I have a written blog as well in regards to this video and uh, make sure you go ahead and check it out at blog.masteringmdm.com. All right, so now let's talk about the hypervisor. So I would suggest you to use something industry standard. When you use it, you get a feel that you're using and working in production. So in this video series, I will be using Hyper-V. Hyper-V is an optional feature which is available if you have Windows 10 Pro, you're running Windows 10 Enterprise or Education. Okay, so if you are running Windows 10 Home or you are comfortable with some other hypervisor and um, you're more than welcome to use it. So I would suggest if you can, if you can stay away from VirtualBox. It is because this is not the industry standard and if you have this is the only option and then maybe yeah yes then obviously you can use it for a learning point of view it does the job now let's talk about virtual networking so within hyper-v we are going to use internal virtual switch so that all our guest virtual machines they can communicate with each other okay and uh, by default internal virtual switch it does not offer internet connectivity so we have to use default virtual switch as well. So we will be using two virtual switches for our virtual machines so they can get in internet connectivity. Okay, so now let's have a look at our guest virtual machines. So I'm gonna jump onto my computer and I will show you the guest virtual machines that we are going to use. So here you can see that the first one is Technex-DC01 and uh, this virtual machine, uh, we will provide it 2 GB RAM and 30 GB storage. And uh, this will be our domain controller and it will have DNS, DHCP, and we will extend Active Directory schema as well on that one. So this will be Windows Server 2019. It will be standard Windows Server. And the second virtual machine, it will be Technex-CM01. And RAM will be four to six GB for that. Storage 250 GB. Uh, 250 GB, it looks quite a lot. But um, yes, so we will be configuring dedicated drives for that storage. And uh, we will come onto that one shortly. So we will install SQL Server, ADK, all the other prerequisites for Configuration Manager. And this will also act as distribution point and management point as well. So once we have these two virtual machines, we need something for testing. So that will be our PC-01 where we will install Configuration Manager client and we will deploy applications and do other testing as well. So this will be domain joined to our network, to our domain controller, okay? So now let's have a look at uh, 250 GB storage. Uh, I have broken it down and um, to view that, you can jump onto my blog, which is blog.masteringmdm.com and uh, let's have a look at that storage, 250 GB. So here I have explained about storage on Configuration Manager virtual machine. There are so many drives and these drives are there for a reason. So all these drives, they, they look too many and you would ask me why they're too many? Why can't we just do on one drive? So single drive. So it will be easy. We dump everything on single drive. Happy days. But uh, there are reasons why we don't do that and there are reasons why in production it, it's not the case. So you have dedicated drives for all the tasks, for all the applications that Configuration Manager is going to use. And it will help Configuration Manager for performance and also for backup and recovery purposes as well. Okay, so you can read through it in your own time. So you can see that we have C drive, D drive, E, F, G, H, 
i and at the bottom you see there's a file share so that file share will be used to save application xc files any application msi files as well when we deploy the files apart from that this is the file share where we are going to save operating system vim file as well which will be installed dot vim for windows 10 and uh, we will look at that when we come to that point okay so one thing i haven't mentioned is the total ram and total storage you need so here you can see that total ram we need about 8 gb and storage will be 310 gb okay so now i will show you the host machine which i'm going to use throughout this video series so this will give you an insight and overall idea about what i'm using so let's jump on and let's have a look at and i'm currently logged on to that machine and if i go to task manager and in task manager let's uh, change it over to performance so here you can see that cpu it's i5 7th gen 3.4 gigahertz and uh, it has four cores memory 16 gb so currently about 3 gb in use we got about 12.8 gb left so this is what we are going to use all right, so I will show you the storage as well of this device and it has these many drives. Probably you don't need these many drives. If you have only single drive, which is about 500, 500 GB is more than enough. Okay, so I would recommend if you can, if you can use SSD. So SSD will you get better performance and you do not have to provide a lot of RAM while using SSD. All right, so basically that is it. And uh, to finish it off, I will actually show you the whole lab overview, okay? So how our lab is going to look like. So I have put together a document and I will open um, this one here. So this is version six, probably I went through five times fixing it up. So let's make it full screen. So this is my host machine. You can see that, that I just showed you. And then the hypervisor is Hyper-V and um, we will be using internal virtual switch and uh, default virtual switch for internet. And these are our virtual machines. So all together, this is how our network is going to look like. Okay, so this is all for this video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the software requirements and I will go through and I will show you how you can download all the required software beforehand. Okay, so when it comes to setting up, you will have everything downloaded, ready to go, and you will just use it and you set it up your lab. And um, so if you find this video helpful, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. And click on the bell icon to get all the latest updates from this channel. I will see you in the next video.